Today I've done no work. Right guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe down below and let me know if you guys want to see vlogs or videos where I just sit and talk to you. There'll be a poll up here in the corner and you guys can vote in that and let me know. So I filmed this video about two weeks ago and it was a vlog. Basically in this one I start up a new series called Prank Wars like the Paul Brothers. In some of my vlogs and videos I'm going to prank my parents because obviously I'm going to university soon, hopefully. Honestly it actually does look very unlikely but this one does go very wrong. Recently there was some quite big news in terms of exam boards so let's take that away while I'm on the way to get some stuff for a prank. So I listened to this story, yeah, kind of jokes. The other day I'm in the library, I'm just chilling, I'm kind of looking like, looking around seeing what everyone's doing. I noticed on this guy's computer, he's about 60 odd, an email from AQA and I'm like, yo. And it basically says, dear examiner, we've noticed recently that our examination system has been under cyber attack. That's jokes, isn't it? Somebody's trying to hack AQA. So I'll probably get hacked during the exams. I promise there's 100% true as well. You think I paid for this bag? Oh. Today I've done no work. All I've done has been for a run, but you know, let's cue that. I won't be no they always say congratulations. Up my willy, me, my cock grow. Yeah. And when I came back from the run, oh, I was dying. I think I might actually have asthma. So I went for a run and all that jazz, and then it was time to go and prank my dad, or try to at least. And he was in the car park. I was going to meet him, so I thought, you know, let's wrap his car in tinfoil. But you know, the idea is when you don't fully think it through. And then I kind of realised, yeah, yeah, you'll see, you'll. <laughs> so. I arrived at the car park, my dad's car is here, he's gone shopping, so um, let's wrap it up. Now this is taking a lot longer than I expected. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, you, you got me. Have you <laughs> bought this tin <tinfoil? laughs> Yeah. Before? I was gonna, I don't know, I was gonna wrap your whole car in it, but then you kind of came back too early. Absolutely lunatic. <laughs> Scratch my car, you're dead. You're paying for it. Dead? What do you mean? No, you're not. You're a dead man. This one's scratched the car. You're a dead man. <laughs> Why is he stuck? <laughs> what are you doing? He's really going. <laughs> he's gone, he's gone. Oh, where's he actually going? Successful prank? I don't think so. I don't think so, I don't think so. The only thing I have to do now is um, sell mum the rest of that tinfoil. I'm not fun. It's attracting a crowd of uh, still. Oh my days, cuz that was so, so like embarrassing. It was such a fail, yeah. And it was so cringy because people were coming in and out of the car park. And imagine I'm just there, like trying to tin for this car, I'm just failing. And some people are watching from the windows. I'm like, oh my god, that was not a good idea. I need better ideas for pranks. Let me know in the comments down below, guys. So then we went to go see this film. The film looks very good. Nice. So now we're gonna go see if we can get a burger. Yeah. You can get you can get bigger ones. XL. So I went to go get a burger from the old half man half burger, and there's no burgers left. Yeah, yeah. How many GCSEs you got? Because I've got 11 GCSEs. Yeah, that's impressive. Are you not impressed to have 11 GCSEs? Not really. Damn, he's impressed! If I bring a girlfriend back to you and she had zero GCSEs, what would you say? Yeah, nothing to do with me. That's my bro. So after the film, we went and got some food. I went and got a burger, even though they had no burgers. And we expanded on that AQA drama, which is actually quite intense, really. Who knows what could happen now. And then finally, I wanted to bring you guys some GCSE tips, because I know a lot of you guys have been asking for them A-star GCSE math tips, which I can give you. And um, 
we just jump straight into them. Same video because, you know, got to get that ad revenue for plus 10 minutes. <laughs> I'm joking, but on, on a serious level, having the video at 10 minutes probably makes me about an extra 50p I get in that video. I'm broke, man. I'm a student. I'm always broke. You know how expensive drinks are at the bar when you're trying to go clubbing? Just for me, let alone anyone else. I can't even afford that. See, this is when I ask my friends, you know, how much work have you done over this Easter holiday, guys? And pretty much their responses were, I don't know, I'll let you see. Nope, not at all. What about you? Yeah, I've done a fair bit, actually. Well, well done, Bailey. And uh, Georgie, no, I know enough. Alice says word. So basically, more of the story, no one's done enough work. So when I saw that AQA had apparently had a cyber attack, I thought, you know, I can't just not look into it. So I had a Google and this is what came up. So yeah, literally thousands of examiners' personal details stolen. So in one of the quotes that basically says, you know, we've been cyber attacked, details have been stolen from our examiners. They say, we'd like to reassure students and parents that none of this affects their summer exams. Hmm, somehow I don't quite believe that. I think actually for the AQA exams now, there could be something pretty dodgy going on there because why would you hack examiners a month and a bit before exams start? Mm -hmm. So, mum, you'll buy these off me, yeah? yeah. <laughs> Full price, yeah? Okay. Did you get them from the pound shop? <laughs> no, that's from Tesco. Ruby, how do you do well in your tests at school? Uh, practice. So, Ruby, does anyone write anything on their hands in your class? No. There we go then. That's why they're not doing so well. But on a serious level, guys, for maths, there's always one or two formulas that you might forget or whatever. And if you write them on hand, one on each hand, in code, in small, and take them into your exam, then write them down on the piece of paper before you start your exam, then rub off the formulas you wrote on your hand, it's going to help you out a fair bit. Now, I've obviously never done this at all. Never, ever, 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 ever. And I know some of you are going to say it's cheating, but in actual fact, you know, you kind of... I don't know, yeah, it's probably cheating. But if you want to do that, guys, you never really get caught and um, it will probably help you out a lot. So that's probably my first tip. I will not do this at all because, you know, I'm definitely against cheating. It's very unlikely that you'll get uh, kicked out of the exam as long as you wipe it off your hand before the exam actually starts. So this tip helped me out a lot. And I've done it a few days before the exam and in the build up to the GCSE math exams. So basically what you wanna do, instead of looking through past papers and completing them all, you wanna look at a question on a past paper, straight to the mark scheme, look how they done it, check if you knew how to do it, and remember the ways you answer questions. Because rather than writing out what you know, if you just look at the mark scheme and make sure you know how to do it, you can move on to the next question. And this refreshes your memory on all the techniques you use. And it also allows you to, I don't know, remember the techniques that you previously used but have forgotten. And it's a nice and quick, not strenuous, and it's just easy to do. Definitely recommend that. You might not have done it, you might do it, but I 100% recommend doing that. And I made a video like this previously. I mean, it went down so well. I think it was my first video on this channel. And um, I'll play a clip of that now. Uh, so today guys, I'm just bringing you this video because I want to talk to you about GCSEs and GCSE math. I mean the old Barnet's doing bits as you can see and um, quite a lot of dislikes on that video Possibly because of the background music that was pretty horrendous. Yeah, that's the one tip number three Don't cheat in your exam by looking at other people's work. It might sound a stupid tip yeah, but know how to reset your calculator Literally if you don't know how to reset your calculator learn it. I think you press shift and then nine then equals then equals, then equals. But try that now, make sure you know how to reset your calculator. Because sometimes that like fx equals comes up and you're like, oh crap, what have I done? Oh, and then your calculator might be ruined for the whole exam. And then you have to ask the officiators or examiners to come and sort it out. And they might take like five minutes or they might like not even know because sometimes they can be useless. So that's honestly a good tip here. And um, check out my exam hack video where you can basically factorize stuff using your calculator. I'll leave a link down in the description, but that's honestly my fourth tip, know how to do that. And my third one was to know how to reset your calculator. And this is probably the biggest tip I could ever give anyone. And that is basically in the exam, you know, you're counting away, you're doing numbers, you're thinking about the last questions, which are really hard, but you need to focus on the early questions in the paper. Because if you focus on the early questions and don't make any silly mistakes, you'll gain loads more marks, literally, I know people that have been able to answer the last questions of the exam, questions like, 
I don't know how many questions there are on a GCSE paper, but all the hard ones, but because they're like so fixated on like doing the hard ones and getting them right, they mess up on the early ones and then don't do as well as they would have liked. But yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this little vlog slash tip video. Thank you to Ruby for being in the background. You guys to comment down below your top tips for getting high grades in maths, English and the sciences at GCSE. And I'm going to make a video on that and you'll all be featured if you comment down below. So go for it. So you're probably wondering how I kind of felt when I got an A star in maths. Now I felt fairly, fairly happy at the time. And then kind of afterwards I was a bit like, well, I've got an A star now. What, it's summer, enjoy myself. Didn't really think too much of it, but actually it's been very helpful. So when I was applying to university, my grades, they weren't the best, but because I got an A star at GCSE in maths, they're like, wow, A star in maths. GCSE so it helped out a lot for you guys it's going to be even more important because basically AS is obviously no they're being scrapped so GCSEs mean a lot and if you can get an A star in maths you're sorted literally sorted applying for jobs having an A star in anything is great I don't think they look specifically at maths unless you're doing something accounting wise or anything like that other than applying for a job and applying for university A star in maths hasn't been that helpful other than when I've been using it in my maths lessons for A level but that's just me being honest And obviously, if you are new around here, don't forget to subscribe down below and I'll catch you all again soon. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll catch you again soon, very soon, this weekend, this Sunday. Make sure you are subscribed down below for this Sunday's video. Go and DM me about this hoodie. Cop yourself one. Honestly, these are going to be sold out soon. They're pretty lit. I think, how much are they? Basically, like 25. That's a sick price as well. See ya.